All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and right click, delete those smart collection right there, get rid of this B-roll smart collection. And we can leave this library smart collection B-roll there. Um, but we come down here into our synced media. I wanna quickly just run through what is known as line string outs. Now generally, unless you're on a bigger budget, project where you have a number of assistants in your editing bay, you won't really be doing something like this. Uh, but in terms of the bigger budget fare and more professional workflows, you generally will. This is a really great easy way to later on when you have the director or the producer in the room, find every single instant of a particular line from any of the takes across the board. Generally, when you're doing this in something like Avid Media Composer or Premiere, it's all about setting uh, in and out points and markers on a timeline, editing from source, uh, time uh, sequence into a line string out, matching back. Uh, it, it's quite cumbersome, I have to say, and Final Cut Pro X makes it incredibly simple. Um, so why don't we go over here into list view. We'll... Go up to our first take here, scene one, take two. I guess we lost scene one, take one somewhere. Um, let's just chalk it up to the film gods. And we'll go through here and we will basically find each line. Here it makes it easy because you have the waveforms, but let's go back here to the beginning and just hit play. He's, yep, dead. There you are. So. I would say the first line is he's yep dead that whole thing it'd be difficult to chop that up into two lines since they're standing next to each other and it's a two shot so let's go ahead and select a little bit after that so right there basically are we've lassoed our line he's yep dead so now go ahead and hit command K to bring up your keyword editor and hit your quotes he's He's dead. He's, yep, dead. Hit enter. Boom. So now that's your first line right over there. Um, now what you might also like to do is put an 01 at the front of it actually. Um, that way we know that that's the first line in the scene. So now let's keep going play. What did anyone know? Did anyone know? There's your next line right there. So we'll hit our I for Did in point. No. And we'll hit our O for out point. And again, we will hit Command K. And now this is the second line in the scene. So we'll go O2 underscore quotations. Did anyone know? End quotations. Boom. So now that's our second line in the scene. Now I can see here in the waveform that the next line is gonna come right after that, so I'll hit my eye for my end point, hit play. Not that I know. Not that I know of, he said. Hit your out point. We'll go command K again. It's the third line in the scene. Not that I know of. And we hit enter there. Now we're moving right along, three lines done. So now you're gonna to wanna to go through and create a different keyword collection for each separate line of dialogue in the scene. I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing, but go ahead and practice on your end. So now you have all your individual lines right over here in their own keyword collections. So now we go back to our synced media and we're gonna to go to our next take right over here. As you can see, We've top, chopped off the top and the tail here. That's the red rejected. In here are all of our lines again. So when we go ahead to the beginning here and hit play. Action. He's, yep, dead. So we just I and O'd our line right there as it was playing. Hit Command K and now just type in 01 and boom, that line comes up. You hit enter. Click back out over here, hit play, hit your I. Did anyone know? Hit your O. Back to our keyword editor, O2, did anyone know? Hit enter, boom. Next line, hit I. Not that I know of. Hit O. And back to our editor, O3, not that I know of. There's that line right there. 
Now I'm going to speed this up again, but go ahead, go through, lasso each line, and assign it to the proper keyword collection. So now you have both instances of that line for each and every take. Now I go back down here to 09, you got this. I accidentally put this little symbol at the end. You can just go here and delete it. You know, it can get a little klutzy sometimes when you're going back and forth and the keyword editor and this and that. But for instance, you could at this point assign each one of these lines to a shortcut. You go ahead and delete all of these guys right here. Or I could have just done that, I guess. <laughs> and we can go down the line, 01, yep, he's dead. 02, did anyone know? 03, not that I know of. 04, no knocks on the door. 05, no phone calls. 06, it almost feels like a game now. 07, 08 to 08 to 08, 09 to 09. Now we do have a 10, so we'll have to do that one uh, more manually now. But these are now your keyboard shortcuts where all you have to do is hit control one and it'll add this to that little to whatever you have selected so if you go up here back to synced media we are on to our third clip here now that we want to assign we can see here on the first two these blue marks those are our line string out so to speak down over here number three um, so now we go to the beginning hit i ho hit i here he's yep dead hit O for your out, and now you don't have to go type anything in. You can literally just go to your keyboard and hit Control-1, and boom, this Yep, He's Dead has been added. You can see here, because our clip skimmer info is on, Yep, He's Dead. So now we go to our next one right over here, hit I. Did anyone know? Did anyone know? Control-2. Hit I, hit O, not that I know of. Control three, hit I. No knocks on the door. Hit O, control four. So now, as we go through each and every one here, I'm not gonna force you to watch me again, but I'm gonna do it, we'll speed it up, and then you'll see by the end, we'll have this populated with every single take of every single line that we have in this scene from all the different angles. So. Have fun watching me do it in sped up time. All right, so now we can go ahead and click out of our keyword editor there. And if we switch back here to film strip view, you'll see that we have. He's, yep, dead. He's, yep, dead. He's, yep, dead. Really easy way to find every instance of every line for your entire scene and done a lot more quickly than it would have in any other program.